Live shot right now. Booyah! So we want to show you today how we do the process from start to finish from taking an, a cabinet color that you don't like and making it into something you do like with our Schnubs Premium Paint Kit. We got to remove the doors in the drawer front and then label our hardware. So with a drill or a screwdriver if you like to do that, you want to remove your hardware and then label your doors. So here we have number one and number two. And number two cabinet here, it'll have the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna make sure that I label those accordingly so that they go right back in the same spot. So when I flip this over, I can write on the back side here, this is two top and right inside here, two top, two bottom, two bottom. So then as you can see, now I know that I can put the hinges in the same spot. It'll go right in the same holes and I won't have to adjust it. A uh, little pro trick there to save you a lot of time. So one of our exclusive products is our degreaser deglosser, which eliminates the need for sanding or priming. And a lot of people will say, no, you can't, you can't do that. You, there's no way you can eliminate sanding. But we've been doing this a long time and we know how to refinish cabinets and trust me, it works. So you spray this degreaser all, all over it. You wanna spray a liberal amount and then you take your scotch pad, your green scotch pad, and you're gonna scrub it. I mean, you scrub it pretty vigorously, either like dirty dishes or like you're sanding, but you don't have to, you don't actually have to sand. So this is gonna pull up urethane, polyurethane, some of your old oil finishes, any grime or grease or junk that's built up over the years. And then you scrape it with a razor blade. And what this does is it eliminates any of that grease or any buildup that's in your finish, anything that's been there over time. But you can see how it just eliminates a lot of that junk that is gonna repel any finish that you put on there. Also with your razor blade, we're not digging in, we're going just perpendicular to it. So you're just scraping it ever so lightly. So you wanna wipe it dry with an old rag or a cloth and uh, give it about 10 minutes before you start painting. But. And on your doors though, you're gonna flip it over and degrease this other side. So now after you've degreased everything and scraped it and then dried it off after about 10 minutes, then you are ready to paint. Uh, what we love about this paint is it goes on smooth, it dries quickly. I mean, you're 30 to 45 minutes dry time where you can recoat. Where other paints are typically two hours to four hours before you can recoat it. Um, and one other thing that we really love to use is these, these small microfiber rollers. And they just lay it on real smooth. So you get that all ready to go. And make sure to stir up your paint. You don't want to shake it because shaking it causes air bubbles. And those air bubbles will show up in your finish. So nice. When you dip your brush or your roller, you want to make sure that it gets pretty wet and then lightly roll it off. You don't want it to drip, but you want it to be wet enough that it's going to lay it on. So when you're painting your first coat, don't be so worried about full coverage. As you can see, there's a little bit of the uh, blonde color coming through and that's fine because your second coat is going to eliminate all of those parts that are bleeding through. Make sure to keep your roller wet so that it lays it on. You don't want to be pulling it off as you roll across it. Something that we want to show you is the difference between these two here. Both had degreaser on them, 
This one we scraped and then let it dry for 10 minutes. This one we didn't scrape and didn't let it dry. So you can see you really want to make sure that you let it dry because that degreaser, if it's wet, is not going to let your paint stick. It's just going to repel it all the way. One thing again we really love about the Schnumps paint has leveling properties. And so you can see as we roll it on there, this is a very smooth finish and this is only the first coat. But you can see how it just levels off. You don't see any of the any marks of the roller. So there's no peaks or valleys or lines. So you can get a high quality finish with a roller and not have to invest in a thousand dollar sprayer. A little pro tip, stick your roller in a bag while you wait for your paint to dry. So after you've let it dry, you're going to come and you're going to take your finished sponge sander and sand this first coat smooth. You'll be able to feel that it's a little bit rough, but after you sand this with the sponge and then put your second coat, that's going to give you your lacquer-like smooth finish. And this is a step that a lot of people don't do, which is why their finishes don't come out right. And on your doors, you're going to go through, you're going to do your faces and then the edge here. And again, you're just doing it lightly. And you want to make sure not to burn through too much on your edge. So you don't want to be pushing too hard on the edge there. <clears throat> and after you've sanded it, you can blow it off with an air compressor or you can take a microfiber cloth and just give it a quick wipe down. When you're doing your doors a second coat, you want to make sure that this one is <clears throat> a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker so that gives you a nice finished coat. Since we're not going to be doing a top coat on here, it's a self priming and self top coat. You want to make sure that we do a little bit of it heavier, not so much on the edge. You still want to go light on the edge, but on the surface and the face, make sure you give it a good amount so that it'll just level off and meld. And if you get any little kind of dust particulates that fall from your you know, if you're in your garage, sometimes you got dust floating around in there. You just get those out and then do a quick roll over it. So another thing that I like to do, um, you don't have to do this, but in, if it dries, you typically have to score where you've painted it with the blade. But if you pull the tape when it's a little bit wet, then you don't have to worry about that. And so you want to pull it about a 45 degree angle towards you. You don't want to pull it straight up because then that can pull up some of this. So as you pull it 45 degree angle towards you, so that gives you a nice clean crisp line and doesn't interfere with any of this paint that uh, sometimes when paint dries, it'll overlap and it'll try to peel up what you have. So unless you want to score everything, which you can, peel it up a little bit while it's wet and that gives you a nice crisp line right there. So ready to put the hinges back on. We have one top right there and one bottom. So now we label these so it's easier to put them back on. We don't have to adjust them. All right. And there you have it. One and done, right there, baby. Jump it up.